you install it same as any other plugin you go to the add new you upload it you press activate once it's activated go to the settings and paste your license press save the license is applied after that you need to patch it but the patch is totally seamless you just uh, press patch and all the magic is going to done, be done in the background it's going to download the file it's going to patch it press save changes and the patching and installation is done so let me show you where the real power of uh, playing classes is actually coming this is a scripts organizer and here I created just a simple loop where we if we go to the CSS we have a full padding then we have the X that's left and right and then we have Y for the top and bottom only so let's create just one simple element we can open the plain classes and let's start writing so you can see it's changing right away and you can see that you can just add it in the middle of the class and it's going to be applied but uh, let's go to the x large and at one point you decide that you only need the top and bottom or you only need the left and right so you can see how powerful this is and also you can create the classes on the fly as well so if I do this and if I go to the front end let's just go here open it so you can see that uh, this is a oxygen default class then this is a one that we predefined and here is the two of them that was created on the fly so you can see how awesome this is okay now let's uh, move to the autocomplete and i'm going to show you how to uh, allow it because uh, it's not allowed by the default to allow autocomplete uh, you just follow the documentation get started and then autocomplete uh, integration uh, for now we supporting the default uh, oxygen classes then we support oxy frame and automatic css uh, autocomplete as well so just uh, copy go to scripts organizer or any other code snippet plugin that you're using publish and if you go to pages edit it to oxygen you can close this one we don't need it anymore let's wait for oxygen to load and let's uh, open the selectors so we can see some of them so if we select element open the playing classes uh, dialog box uh, you can see that autocomplete is working also what you can uh, see that uh, if the word have the capital letters inside it's not case sensitive so for example here we are uh, typing the business the business have the capital b but even if we start with the small b it's going to find it it's here is another example with the time so it's going to find it right away so you can see uh, how powerful this light wave plugin is and uh, hopefully you will see it right away how much time is going to save you because this is basically like uh, writing the html classes in your code editor is going to save you a lot of time and uh, subscribe to our youtube channel for more tutorials like this buy from the deep plugins team